Good morning, Michelle here, my crazy workout. I have a new video today. Uh, Conchana had, uh, I had said something to her about doing an upper body workout. So this one is tank top arms. So um, the majority of the work is gonna be upper body, but I have um, in between the upper body moves, I do have uh, cardio moves. So the, like circuit one will be, we'll do cardio to warm up and then uh, we'll go into the, the arm exercises. And then when we move to the next group of arm exercises, you'll have a cardio uh, group of the circuit cardio before we get into the arms that way. Uh, so you'll hit your lower body as well and uh, keep your heart rate up. So uh, we will be burning fat and building muscle. How So we're going to have three cardio moves and then there will be the circuit for the arms. So we'll do the cardio first, but we're going to do a warm up first. So march it wide. Let's take those arms around while we're marching. Loosen up those shoulders, get that blood pumping. Four. If you don't want to do the warm up, you can fast forward to the first orange border and it will start the first group of circuits for the workout. Bring them, bend the elbows, pull them back. If you don't wanna do my warm up and you wanna do a jump rope or something, I know yesterday when I was at the gym, I did my warm up before I got into my workout was my cross ropes, my jump ropes. I did the um, challenge, they have a new spring challenge. So I do that. I don't do it every day because I do different stuff and hold it here, tap it out, tap it. Bring the shoulders and roll them in. We did the back. Now we're gonna round them to the front. There we go. Four, three, two and one swing them around like you're swimming four three two knees up pull the arms down four Three, two, now you're gonna take the heels behind and the arms in front. Bend those legs, kick that butt. Four, three, two, and one. Tap it out right here, tap it. We're gonna go Stay on the floor, come side to side. Inner thighs, hips, stay low. Keep the legs planted and take it side to side. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it over here, bring that Right shoulder over to the left knee. Turn. Come on up into a high lunge. Drop the hands. Drop the knee. Pelvic tilt. Stretch out that hip flexor. Push that leg back. You're going to go up and down. Lift up and down. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Now pelvic tilt, in and out. Two, three, four more, four, three, two. Now slide that right leg in. Left foot stays on the floor. Stretch out the front of the leg. Engage the core, ab is tight. 
Lift up. Stretch out that calf. Sit it back. Feel that stretch in the hamstring and the glute on that left leg. And then hold it here. Bend that knee slightly and tap it out. Four, three, two. Now we're going to turn it front. Feet are front. Bend that left leg. Reach that left arm, or bend that right leg. Reach that left arm to the ceiling. Drop that left arm down and over to the right. Elbow or the shoulder over to the right knee. Turn, high lunge, hold it here. Press that leg back, lift up, lift up. Two, three. Four, four more, four, engage the core, three, two, and one. Hold it in, pull it in, two, three, four, four more, four, three, two, hold it here, pelvic tilt. Feel that stretch in the hip flexor on the left side. Now you're gonna slide that left leg in, keep that right foot flat to the floor, engage the core, abs are tight. Stretch out the shin, the tibialis muscle. Tap it out. Four, three, two, one. Pull it up, stretch out that calf. Keep that back flat. Pull that head out of the turtle shell. You're not tucked under like this, right? You've got your chest pulled forward, your head pulled forward. Turn it to the front. Bend that left knee, straight leg with the right. Reach up, stretch out the shoulders. Come back to the front. Take the hands, cross them behind, up and over. Stretch out the hamstrings, the glutes. Feel that stretch in the shoulders. Come halfway up, release the arms, flat back. Tuck the head. And roll the back up one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Reach that right arm up. Or that left arm up, sorry. Grab a hold with the right. Pull over. Again, head is out of the turtle shell. You're not going like this and looking forward because you're crunching your stomach and rounding your back. You want to pull it straight over. And release it. Come up. Break the arms. Inhale. Reach that right arm over, hold it here. When you have that and your head is out of that turtle shell, pull on that right arm, stretch out the obliques, feel that pull through the shoulder and release it. Deep breath, inhale and exhale. We're gonna get started. I am gonna set the timer. Your cardio moves are 10 and 30, so you're gonna do, we're gonna do nine rounds, but we're gonna do three, and that'll be the first round. We'll do a second round and a third round. If you're not doing all three rounds with me, if you're a beginner or you're pressed for time, you can do one, two, or three rounds. Just make them count, and then we'll go into the arms from there. So when I hit the timer, you get a 10 second rest, and then we go right into the moves. Show you with little weight or no weight the moves. And then from there, from we'll do a set of three. Uh, one round will be three exercises. We're gonna do that three times through. The first one is a hang and snatch. Snatch it up, lower it back down. If you only have one weight, then you do hang and snatch with the right, hang and snatch with the left. All right, we are going into an up, right glute lift, down, reverse lunge. Up glute lift, down, reverse lunge. Up glute.
and you have to do the other side. If you don't have a bench, it would look like this. Up glute, down another side, down and lunge. Up, whoop. Up, step up, or step forward. Glute squeeze, back and lunge. Now, I didn't stop after three. I set it for nine and kept going. So we're not gonna take a long break, all right? So we're gonna go back to those hanging snatches. But if you're not doing a second round, snatch it up, lower it back down. Challenge yourself. you can stick around your leg for the glute lift. Sorry, I have to turn my back to you. You'll see a different angle. Up, glute down in a reverse lunge. into the arms. I'm going to move the bench in. Whoops. Sorry, hold on a minute. I'm going to move the bench in. It won't get in the way of the hang and snatch. Okay, you choose your weight. Whatever you're using, I'm going to get the band for the bench. Of course it went to the floor. Up. You're hanging. Hang. Knees are bent. Feel it in those glutes. And as you go forward into that hang, it's like a deadlift. slip this band on. Up, glute, down, reverse lunge. Up, glute, lift. You can have the band and the weight if you want. Up, glute. Other side. Left side is next. You're gonna step up, glute, down, reverse lunge. We're going to upper body next. You should be, the heart rate should be going. You can use a 
band or you can use dumbbells. You can choose. Again, we're doing 30 seconds and then we're going to the next move. We're going. So I hit it. So down, triceps, and you want to extend out and work those tricep muscles. Now, if the weight is too heavy, you won't be able to turn your palms out and engage the triceps. So make sure the weight is not too heavy because we're not putting this down. I'm going to when I do the bands. All right, so we're going out, drop down, back up. Out. Sorry about that. Out, drop down. There we go. Out. If your weight is too heavy, you will be shrugging at the shoulders and you'll feel it in the shoulders instead of in the triceps. Don't drop this weight. We're gonna go on. We have an around the world. So palms go in, touch overhead. So palms are facing behind each time. Face the thighs, face the back of the wall. Twist overhead. I didn't put the weights down when I did these. I picked them up and I kept them for all nine rounds. But I want to be able to show you, if you don't have dumbbells, what to do with the bands. So you can do, you can do either band. You can do a band or a tube, whichever you want. If you have this one, you put it around your feet and you take it overhead. All right. If you have this one, this one's probably trickier. So I'll show you with this one. That one, it's a continual loop. Alrighty, hands up. You're gonna go out. Now remember, when a beeper goes off, we're going to out and then a lat pull down. I think the bands and the tubes are very hard because there's resistance up and down. So up, lats, back. Ooh. On the next one, on the around the world, you're just gonna take that left foot or whichever foot is not stepping on the band and you're gonna bring it back behind the band so that we can take this to the front. If you want, if you have light weights and you don't really feel it, but you have a band, you can take the band and hold the dumbbells and have resistance both ways. If you're not ready to go to that next weight, the band will add some resistance to your lighter weights. Hands face your thighs and then hands face the back of the wall. We have one more round of these. Are your shoulders on fire yet? Like I said, I didn't stop at the third round. I, I went through nine, so let's keep going. Out. You choose, pick your dumbbells, pick your bands. Arms are gonna be tired for the next cardio moves. Then you go out and down. Press out, lower down. Now, if you don't have dumbbells or you don't have bands, if you're a be really, really, really beginner, grab some water bottles, bags of rice, um, cans in the pantry, whatever you have. Whoo! You don't think that's a lot until you start doing this, huh? 
twist them, twist them down, twist them overhead so that the palms face back. And remember, don't shrug up, don't shrug those shoulders up. You want to keep the shoulders down as you raise the arms up. Woo! All right. So we're gonna do two squat walks right. So stay low, out, out, and then come up, out, out. Press out, press out. I'll put the band on in the second round, but if you're not using a band, Press out. Press out. Okay. Jumping jacks with a swing. Reverse lunge, hold the weight overhead. from the chest, overhead, press, out, and then over, all right, jumping jacks, if you want to keep the band on, add some resistance to those thighs, look forward, don't look down at your weight. As you jump into that wide squat, feel that in your thighs. Overhead. You're gonna lunge and row it. We have one more round. I didn't, I set it for nine and I went. So it's a real cardio. Press out, press out. Press out. the jacks. You don't have to use a weight if you don't want to. I like
like the weight. Reverse lunges, engage the core, right? When you come up, you're reaching the weight over your head, holding that stomach in. Don't look down at the thighs. Look out, lunge back, work the glutes. Feel it in the waist when you bring the weight to the side. Next set of arms. All right, these are your arms. Bicep curl with an overhead press. Right arm is first. And for me to do it properly, you can hold the other arm up. So your hammer curl up and overhead. Hammer curl up and overhead. You gotta switch. I think I did this with tens at the gym because I couldn't, I don't think, maybe I did do the 15s. But I didn't lower the weight, I kept the same weight. It must have been tens because they don't have 12s. So I think I did tens. I'll grab, I have my 12s here. So maybe for the second round. And then you do both of them. So you curl in and you curl out. In, out, in, out. I know it was tens because the 15s, I would have been swinging way too much. show you with the bands. I'll show you. So you're going to hold this and you're going to come down, curl, and a press. Sorry, don't let the left arm, don't let it be weak on you. Hold it up there. You know you do the same thing with the one that has the handles over there that's not a full loop. You would step on it so that your resistance on your bicep, you gotta make the band, there you go. Hold that up there. There we go. It's like rubbing your head and rubbing your belly and patting your head. <laughs> Curl and press, hold that bicep up there. And then you go center with these, up and out, up and out, up and out. So whatever you have, if you don't have dumbbells, I think a nice size dumbbell is a five pound and a 10 pound. If, you, if you're really courageous, you can do 15s. But I don't want you to cheat on them. Okay. So, if you have, I need the thicker one. Are you ready? Let's do it. This is round three. If you're doing dumbbells, that's fine too. If you don't have dumbbells, these are your options. Oh, sorry. Hold that left arm, keep it contracted. I forgot there's no lead-in time. Man, I, I collapse on the floor 
when I tried these because, like I said, I went nine rounds straight. had sweat roll in my eye and my contact is all wonky now. <sighs> for some cardio. Oh, that was three. We're gonna take this band, or we're gonna take this weight, we're gonna squat out right, and you're gonna tap to the right, and then you're gonna side and step in. Now you gotta do it to the left. Engage that core. So you squat down. toes so you're on your toes and you go lift up as you drop down lift up as you drop down alternate the toe lift getting your calves as well as your inner thighs you can hold that weight You'd hold it in front, either hold it down, whoo, or you'd hold it at your chest. Grab that weight. Stepping out right, remember, weight goes to the right foot. Squat, step in. What are you doing when you squat down? You're sitting back with the butt. Keep those knees lined up with the ankles. Keep them behind the toes. Okay, left side. I'll step out left, I'll show you. squat. Now the band rolled on me at the gym. But I think I had shorts on that day. You don't have to use a band. You don't have to use weights. If you have a dumbbell, you can hold it either way. Just keep the chest lifted. Feel that in the inner thighs and the calves. 
<sighs> My contact is really rolling on me. If you have a door jam, I'm gonna show you with this. Like you're stirring a pot, we're stepping out right, right? Out and twisting left. You can tap that weight or that band down to that foot. If the resistance isn't enough, all you gotta do is loop that band. Step down and together. Maybe you're at a gym and you have a cable machine. You should see them look at me as I'm testing everything out. I get the strangest looks at the gym. They're like, what is this fruitcake up to today? I always feel vindicated though when I watch them. The, I see them other days where they're doing the moves that I did. I come in at an unexpected hour and I catch somebody doing something and it's like, yes, I reached one more person. Now I put the weight down. If you had a looped band, you could put it around your hips for resistance as you do these. Or you can double up the band. Woo and you can put it around your thighs. It might roll a little bit. I'm gonna grab fives for these. All right, so let's go. I know you're thinking, I could do more weight, but you haven't seen the next move yet, so you better preview these before you go grabbing a bigger weight. Squeeze. You're squeezing the lats in the back and you're working the sides of the shoulders. Now we're gonna do the right arm next when my beeper goes off. You're gonna go up and you're gonna twist and down. Hold the other arm right here, bicep curl. Twist and open and then take it behind. I brought the eights out just in case I felt I could do the eights. Okay. Twist and open. And you're twisting the entire arm, not just the wrist. Open it up like you've got water and you're tipping it backwards. Oh, you know what? I should show you with the bands. You're like, wait, how do we do this? All right, you ready? And remember, You'll have to step in on that band. So you'll step further to the left to do the right arm and further to the right to do the left arm when you take it out to the side. Oh, see, I feel this way more. Now you could hold the five pound dumbbells too, but you should feel this in the shoulders and the back. Are you ready? Step on that band and you're gonna go up and twist it out and back down. Remember, turn your palm back and then the other side. Same thing, lift up, 
and then behind. Bicep, tricep, shoulder. Okay, one more round. Oh, yeah, one more round. So, if you have the tube, handles, if you don't and you're do, sticking with the dumbbells, that is fine too. Now, the more you step on this, the more resistance you're gonna get from the band. Sorry, I hit that and I'm talking. Keep your elbows at your sides, squeeze your back and your shoulders. Raise up and open out. And then we have the left side to do. You should feel that when you turn in the tricep and the bicep, turn it back and then the other side. Twist the arm and turn the palm like you're trying to turn it back behind to face the back of the wall. That was three rounds. Crossing over with the right foot, we're going to do left leg out, back down, heel jack, up, lift, down, up, lift, down, heel click jack, up, lift, Up, lift. Now we're going step up left, right, up, lift. Jump switch, up knee, lunge, jump switch, up knee, you can hold weights. If you want to put a band on, I think you guys like the bands. Lena, Conchana. Okay, so if you're doing the bands, remember we're going left leg lift first. So it's up, lift, down. A little bit harder to get that side leg lift. I'm using the blue band. Remember, engage the core, right? Up. 
Other side. Uplift. Up. Side lift. Down. Up. Side lift. Up. Side lift. Up. Ready for the front? Right, left knee. Left knee. Jump switch. Jack. Up, step out, down. There we go. Up, side lift. Now we're going step left, right, side lift. Left, right, step left, kick right, step back right, out left, heel jack, up, don't have a bench, you would step, knee, jump, switch, lunge. Left, right knee. single move and then we're going to combine them together at number three and then we're going to do another one like that for four five and six okay so choose a weight that you don't have to put down and go with fives hold them up and you're going to turn them down now it's not your wrist it's your arms, right? And you're not shrugging at the shoulders. If you're shrugging at the shoulders, the weight is too heavy. Drop the weight. If they're fives, that's okay. Do them without any weights and you'll still feel them. Turn down, turn up. In front. We're gonna turn up and down. Turn those arms. Slight bend in the elbows, right? Ooh, 
Are you ready? Okay, are you ready? Turn the palms up. I know you're like, oh my gosh, my shoulders are on fire. You're gonna bend over for a rear delt. But instead of just taking it straight back, we're gonna hit a little bit of those triceps as well. So you're gonna bend over and you're gonna turn like you're dumping water out of a jug. So yes, you could probably do more weight, but turn them up, turn the elbows up, get the rear delts, get the triceps, and the shoulders. Ready to put them together? No. You're coming up. Stay in a bent over position so you don't cheat and lift with those legs when you do that front raise. So lower your weight if you need to. Woo! One more round of those. These ones I went straight through. So you don't have to take a break if you don't want to. We're gonna keep going. These are first. Listen, if the weights get too heavy, twist down, twist open. If you've got soup cans, instead of the fives, use them. You've got to bend in your elbows, right? You're not locking out those joints. Whew. Ready? These are killer. I think holding this weight up and twisting it. I gotta drop them. <laughs> Twist them. You can drop them with me if you want. I'll pick them up for the, combina the combined one. Turn. I can just feel. Woo. Okay, you ready? Start them out. Open and close. Open and close. up and twist open if you want to you can be down here it's when you combine them and you're going from the rear delt position to the front either way I don't want you cheating so lower the weights if you need to And then we're gonna go out. And remember, turn, turn the elbows up 
Dump that water out. Turn the dumbbells down. Ready for them combined? Oh, I can feel my triceps. They're on fire. Raise up. Open out. crunch. So if you have a ball and you want to put it between your legs, you can. Now, you're not swinging over your head. You're trying to push the feet up to the ceiling. Keep them above your chest. Don't go over your head because then you use your hip flexors. here. You're going to hold the feet up and you're going to uh, bring one leg in. Now we're not going down. You're coming in for those lower abdominals. When you lower the leg down, you will end up with getting the hip flexors. The lower you go, the more the hip flexors take over. So hold the leg up and crunch the other leg in. So you have to keep the lower abdominals contracted to keep this straight leg pressing to the ceiling as you pull the other knee into the chest. And then we're gonna go and twist them. Again, you have to keep the lower abdominals contracted to keep that foot pressing to the ceiling. So you press up as you lift up and then you pull the opposite leg to the elbow. those legs. You're going to crunch in and press out. Press out. Crunch the knees in. Press the legs on a 45. Again, you don't want the hip flexors. You don't want to feel it here. You want to feel it here in the lower abdominals. If you're pushing your fingers into the rectus abdominis, you should feel it tighten from the pelvis all the way to the rib cage. And if you want, you can reach the arms overhead as you reach the legs out. Hold it here. You're gonna do the hollow hold rock. So you're gonna hold it here.
12 seconds. If you can't rock, whoo, you can just hold it there. Drop those feet, heels together, crunch in. Roll to that right, onto the elbow, tuck under. Over to the left. We got one more round of those. Towel off, grab a drink if you need to. When I hit the timer, we're gonna go. Remember, the reverse crunch is not a big move. You wanna press the heels to the ceiling and contract the lower abdominals, right? And then we're gonna keep those legs up there because you have this movement and you're gonna keep holding those abdominals tight, pressing that lower back into the floor. them up and remember you're gonna keep the straight leg the one that's not moving is squeezing up to the ceiling as you pull the other one in with a crunch exhale on the exertion so when you crunch up and remember the next move, we're gonna twist. So, you're getting the lower abdominals by holding your legs up. If you lower them towards the floor, you get the hip flexors, the lower you go. So, if you can keep crunching and pushing as you pull that leg in,
like you're trying to tap your foot to the ceiling. Hold it here. You're gonna come to a 45, you're gonna pull in and extend out. If you want to, you can raise your arms over your head. Keep your head in your chest, lift it off the floor. If it's too much and you feel a strain, drop your head, keep that lower back in the floor. So if that means you need to press your legs up more towards the edge of the ceiling, you go to where you feel comfortable, work at your level. We've got that hollow hold next, so the legs are gonna go out, arms are gonna come up, and you can rock, or you can hold in place. If this is a strain on your head and your neck, you can just lay it back and hold in this position. But if you can, those legs together. Butterfly legs, crunch in. Roll over to the right side, right side plank. Twist under. Left side plank. the killer core. So come on down onto your stomach. Put your hands out. Raise up and back down. Let's get those hyperextensions in. Squeeze that lower back. Try just to, you're just holding the weight with your hands. 
You're not pressing the floor away. You're contracting and lifting with the back and not lifting with the hands. So you shouldn't be going like this and, and pressing the hands. Uh, it's, a, it's a lower back move. So raise up and back down. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Press all the way up. Take the knees apart, feet together, and come back into a child's pose. Stretch out the, sh the hips. Take those arms out to the side. Stretch out those shoulders. Hold it here for just a couple of breaths. And then we're gonna thread that needle. You're gonna put the weight in the left hand and you're gonna take that right arm and you're gonna drop it. Thread it through that left arm. Drop that head to the floor. Feel that stretch in the shoulder and the back. Tent the hand, tent the left hand, pull the right arm through. Take the right arm out, take the left arm under. Are you engaging that core? You shouldn't just be laying back here and letting everything flop out. Hold everything tight, contract the abs. Think about that. Think about holding them in tight. Stretch out that shoulder and that back on the left side. Tent the right hand, pull the left arm through, walk the knees in, walk the hands out, child's, uh, down, or, uh, yeah, heart melting pose, sorry, puppy pose here. So hips and butt are lined up, the hips with the knees. Sorry, I'm trying to get my gloves off here. Ugh. All right. And the chest is coming to the floor with the chin. Feel that stretch in the chest and the shoulders across the back. From here, you're gonna pull through. Elbows are on the floor into Sphinx pose. So elbows are by the chest. Pull the abs tight. Pull the head up out of the turtle shell, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to let those shoulders come up and drop that head down and stretch out the top of the shoulders across the back. Let the head hang low. Come on up again one more time. Sphinx. Lower the chest. Drop it between the shoulders. Feels so good. While you're laying here, we're going to take that right arm out to the side. Roll over with that left, tent, tent your left fingers on the floor. Press in and stretch out the shoulder and the back. Feel that stretch in the hip and the glute on that left side. If you want, you can reach that left arm back for that right. Open up the shoulder and the chest. Bring it back around. Roll to the front. Take the left arm out, tent the right arm. Roll over onto the left side. If you want, you can reach back for that left arm with that right arm. Or you can hold it right here. This is enough of a stretch for me today. My shoulders are tight now. Roll it back over. Come up, upward facing dog. Press back into down dog. Press the heels back. Bend the knees, press the chest into the knees, stretch out the glutes and the hamstrings. 
Straighten out those legs. You're gonna take that left leg, keep it flat, cross that right leg in front, and come back into your downward facing dog. Stretch out the back of the left leg. You're gonna walk the hands back. Knees are bent. Walk over to the right side, stretch out the left hip. Feel that pull through the obliques. Walk it over to the left side. Ooh. Feel that stretch down the IT band on that right side. Back to the front. You're gonna walk it back out into down dog. And you're gonna uncross that right leg. Pedal out those feet. And we're gonna do that on the left side. So bend those legs, hip, or sit bones to the ceiling. Feel that stretch in the glute and the hamstring. Straighten the legs. Bring the left leg to the front. Stretch out that right hamstring. Feel that pull all the way down into the Achilles tendon, all the way down the back of the leg in the calf, down to the ankle. Bend the knees, walk the feet back. Walk it over to the right. Feel that stretch. IT band on the left side. Walk it over to the right. Oh, feel that stretch. Oblique, hip, glute. Mm, just breathe. Walk it back around. Walk out into your downward facing dog. Uncross that left leg. Walk, pedal the feet out. I'm gonna take the right leg up. Now, it's not up here where you throw your hip back. You want it to be straight back, straight line. Feel the core engaged. You're gonna pull forward, and you're gonna bring that right leg in. Lower that left leg down, reach up and around. Let the knee fall out slightly and stretch out the hip on the right side. We're not walking that foot out yet, okay? Reach back if you can, grab a hold of the the toe, the left toe, and you want to pull your toe towards the wall and stretch out the shoulder and the chest on the right side, and you should feel a stretch in the uh, quadricep and the hip flexor on the left leg, and a stretch in the hip on the right. Spin it back around, walk that right leg out, toe is out, Come down onto the elbows if you can. Stretch out that hip and that glute. Feel that stretch through the inner thigh. Now, keep that head out of the turtle shell, right? We're doing lizard pose. We're not doing this and we're not curling under. We're pulling forward. If you need to stay up here, stay up here. But we're all gonna come up to this position. You're gonna come up onto the foot, the left foot, and you're gonna take the right foot over. You're gonna go into pigeon pose. Walk around to the right side. Stretch out the hip and the glute. Come back to the front. Tent the right arm. Left arm goes under. See so a stretch. You want to balance on the quadricep of the left leg so your hip will be lifted off of the floor. If you need to ball up a blanket or take a block or a ball or something and put it under that, or a pillow under the right leg, but you want to balance on that quadricep of the left leg, feel that stretch. Tent that right arm, pull through. You're gonna come up onto the toe, into a plank position. Pull forward, chaturanga down, upward facing dog. Back to a plank, and back to your downward facing dog. Hold it here, walk the feet out. Bend the legs, bend the knees, hop forward, hold here in Malasana squat. Press the elbows into the knees, stretch out those inner thighs. Take the right arm down, left 
left arm goes high, stretch out the back and the chest. Back to the front. Whew. If you can't get into this position and you need to put a block under your butt to sit, you go right ahead or a pillow, whatever you need, but you want to keep your back straight. Bring the hands down. Come up, bend the knees, walk the feet in. Knees are bent. Fold over those legs, feel that stretch down the back of the legs, glutes, hamstrings. Take the hands to the floor. Flat back, inhale, pull that head out of the turtle shell. Exhale and lower down. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Arms up over the head, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Plant the hands, hop back, and you're gonna chatter on the down. Upward facing dog, head out of the turtle shell, right? Roll those shoulders back. Press back into downward facing dog. Hold it here and the left leg is gonna go up. Now, we're not going up here and, and cocking our hips. We're going straight back. Feel that stretch in the hamstring of that right leg as you press that heel into the floor. What are we gonna do? We're gonna pull that knee forward. Plant that foot and lower that leg down. Twist open, feel it in the hip on the left side shoulder and chest. Gonna bend that right leg, grab a hold of that foot, push the foot towards the wall and stretch out the shoulder and the back of the left arm. Feel that stretch in the quadricep and the hip flexor on the right leg. Release the hand, don't slingshot the foot, let it go down slow. Walk that Left leg out, lower down onto the forearms if you can. If you're comfortable here, if it's too much, stay in an upward position. We're all gonna come up. Stretch out that hip and glute, feel the pull through the thigh. Engage the core, pull the head out of the turtle shell. Take the hands and put them on the floor up onto the toe and you're going to bring that left leg down and you're in pigeon pose. You're going to balance on the right quadricep and your, your hips, want to, you want to keep them level so your uh, sit bones may not go to the floor on these. If you need to put a towel or a pillow or something underneath that left hip, you can do that or you can just balance on that right leg and the longer you hold here the more your hips release and the closer you'll be able to get to keeping them on the floor without rolling to the side okay the trick is is you want to stay on the quadricep of that right leg so as you lay here and you let them release you'll get closer and closer to the floor without rolling over and compromising your position Untuck that right hand, and you're going to come up. You're going to come up into a plank position. Pull the pull forward, chaturanga down, hover, upward facing dog, head out of the turtle shell, right? Press back. Now, bring the right leg back. Now you're going to open that hip. Feel that stretch through the oblique on the right side. Hips, glutes, oblique. Pull forward, bring the right leg in. High lunge up. Whoops. And you're gonna take the right arm and you're gonna grab a hold of the left and pull over to the side for an oblique stretch. Release it, come back up, arms to the front. Bring that left arm over to that right knee. From here, you're gonna step the right leg in. You're gonna come back around, chair pose. You're gonna step back with the right leg, high lunge. Woo. 
Grab a hold of that right arm and pull over for a stretch. Release those arms. Bring that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. What are you doing? You're straightening the back. You're pulling that head out of the turtle shell. Flat back. You're gonna put the weight into the left foot and you're gonna step in with that right. Chair pose. And you're gonna fall forward. Flat back, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, lower down, plant the hands, hop back, chaturanga down, upward facing dog. Back into that downward facing dog. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. You're gonna bend the legs. Hop forward, hands come to the floor, knees are bent, you can grab the elbows or the hands, or you can keep them on the floor with the knees bent. You're gonna go flat back, inhale, exhale, fold down, inhale, rise up, arms overhead, exhale, prayer arms to the front. That was your workout for the day. It's tank top arms, get you ready for the summer. Uh, thank you for joining me for this workout. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to thumbs up it, share it with some friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Have a good day.